Right. So. Us four, sorry a lot, like I said, are champions of the gods. Well, the world's doomed, if you ask me, but, uh... It's more than that. It's more than just doomed. It's, uh... Let's turn you into a human. Because, you know, why not? Get a feeling that you enjoy it. Um... Now, where was I going with this? Yes. Also, and don't tell them this, but a seed of um, mistrust and rivalry has also been placed here. And uh, what's this? That looks dangerous. But maybe I can disarm it. I should neutralize this thing before it does damage. Oh, ow! What's this? It looks strange. The ow, ow! What's this? It looks strange. I can't disarm it. I can use it. That looks dangerous. Get out of the explosion cloud! Okay, fine. Start healing. Yeah, I have no idea how to disarm that. And I'm the one that's good at, that, that's good at trap disarming, apparently. Okay, every man for himself. I'm trying to use the poison, basically, to heal myself, but... Not the greatest idea. Doesn't seem to be all that effective. Fane, help me out with this predicament, would you? Actually hit me on the face with poison. Lovely. I do like that every time something horrible happens and uh, we get incinerated, or half incinerated to death, I need to take a bath in poison, well, both me and Fane, but, yeah, To each their own, I suppose. Okay. Hypothetically speaking, we can just walk around the bloody thing, right? Of course we can. Lovely. Alright, one, then the other. Let's go. How the hell are we gonna get out of here? Because I'm not doing this same song and dance all over again. What sort of fresh hell have I made it into now? 
A tall woman stands right. Hi. Some fresh, some ancient. Desiccated skin hangs from some of the skulls, while others fester with maggots. That's not nice. The woman turns to you, bitten lips parting into a grin. She tucks a small bunch of black red roses into a leather strap across her left hip and, preparing to curtsy, offers you a hand. Sure. She lowers herself slowly, deeply, holding your gaze. Her hand is slight, her touch delicate. Right. As she rises up to her full height, the corpses seem somehow to close in around you. Um... <laughs> well, I don't, oddly enough, I don't have a str particularly strong urge to flee away, but okay. Let's try and act unfazed, which, given my lack of everything but bone, is not going to look particularly difficult. Not going to be particularly difficult. I must ask for your name. She peers closely at you, a shrewd smile playing about her lips. Ave de more de mere galach. What language is that? I feign not to know. No, he's not exactly listening, is he? Ha! <laughs> Never mind. I mistook you for someone else. I can see how, how that could happen. What would be um, the fact that I have only bones? I am Radica. And you, you must be here for the same reason as I. I'm here to meet you, if you're here to meet yourself and have some sort of spiritual reconnection with your own emotions, then yes, I suppose, kind of. She pats the bouquet at her hip. But you're too late. These roses belong to me. Looks like we'll have to find some other way to keep you busy. Notice the way the clasps and buckles... Notice the way the clasps and buckles on her outfit press. Okay, I was, I was looking for the word press. Into her caramel skin. Tell her she has your attention. Okay. So you don't know what she's talking about. What roses? You don't like the way she's looking. Grab a weapon if uh, prepared to be prepared to grab a weapon if need be. Take it easy. So you know the perfect way. You'd like to discuss the dragon slain. What roses? What are you talking about? Ha! As though you don't know. This is the one place in all of Reaper's Coast where blood roses actually thrive. I suppose you just stumbled in by mistake. Yes, I've escaped for joy and I'm looking for a way off the island. Disgusting how they keep our kind trapped here. We are the most powerful beings in all of Rivalon. Bracchus Rex knew that, and he populated this cavern with the bodies of those who stood in his way. Our way. Right, so this cave is not of your creation, then. I can only imagine all the terrible ways this... he mangled them before he finally killed them. It must have been so extravagant. She disgusts you. Let's not tell the crazy witch lady she disgusts us. Plus, I mean, yeah, it was a little bit crazy, but damn. Look at those spikes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Describe of some of what you imagine. Look, I'm the guy that keeps dis dismembered heads, feet, and torsos in his backpack. Honestly, we're sort of at the same level here. She draws closer to me. The heat of her body fills the spaces between your bones. Does it now? I saw a skull over there. There were fine, very fine holes through every inch of it. Can you imagine how fine an implement he'd have used? Interesting. Go on. And I heard rumors. He had a wand that could purge the source from whoever he so chose. He mm. could collect the source and use it himself. Can you imagine it? Being so very swollen with the power of a myriad of lost souls. If only someone could procure such a wand, such a purging wand. Nod, nod. Her eyes lock with the hollows in your skull. She sees who, what you are. But if she is bothered, she gives no sign. Her lids are heavy, her lips are moist. I find you rather delicious. You're gonna try and eat me, aren't you? I'm not I'm not 
good eating. Unless you put me in like a stew or something, I'm very, very much not good eating. Take her by the hips and press, press your face against her lips. A swirl of intoxication travels up your spine and into your head. You set yourself straight and turn your face towards her lips. Pfft, F it, let's go. Her grip tightens around you. She's holding you hard, too hard, hard enough to crush you. Her lips remain locked on your hardened mug. You try to pull away, but she won't let go. You hear a low hum, getting louder. Before you realize what's happening, winged insects pour from her throat down yours. They ricochet around your mouth, a wet, buzzing mass, more by the second. Suddenly, all at once, they start stinging you from inside. Give yourself over to this. There's no stopping it. You're powerless. I don't like the sound of that. Turn away and shiver. There must be a way to, a to expel the horrible beasts from inside you. Push her off with all your strength. Ah, sod it. Nip at your bones. They sting you and sting you and sting you. After you are almost completely spent, the witch releases you from her grasp and stands back, wiping her mouth. Bloody delicious. Tell me, little man, do you know why the soil here is so very fertile? Do you know why it's the only place in Reaper's Coast where blood roses grow? I... We would have to do something with the corpse right there, I would assume. It's the corpses, darling. Yeah, I was gonna Blood say. roses only grow in soil rich with corpses. But uh, not, not this corpse, though. I mean, I'm, I'm all bone. It's, just... it's the, the bone is actually the thing that makes the bloods grow. It's the blood. Oh, God. Just remember that from biology. Okay. I'll need more roses soon enough. Of course, you won't provide very good compost. But yeah, but I won't provide a particularly bad compost either, am I? Yeah. So what am I? I'm diseased. Reduces damage by 35%. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. Doesn't reduce movement range, though, so... At least that's something. Okay. Stabity. Adrenaline. Stab. Stab? Yes. I think we stab. Okay, lovely. Uh, here's a question. If I murderize her, do I need to deal with all the, uh, the things? I probably do, don't I? Probably do. Who goes next? Fane. Then one zombie, two zombie, beetle, zombie, zombie, beetle, beetle. Okay, so they have no initiative, oddly enough. Well, why don't we? do that. Now, as for you... There should be good enough. Lovely. It's a bit of a problem, but okay. Um, get rid of... At least one of the two beetles, right? Actually, what does the new spell do? Restores 17 physical armor for three turns. Not very good. Get the beetle. Hit the beetle with that as well. It's now burning. It's in all sorts of pain and trouble. I can't restore physical armor too much. Could you set you a light? Oh, you're gonna disease everyone else, are you? Ugh. A oh, bit of a problem there. Ow. Zombies that can cast restoration. I. Fine. 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 I just. I don't. Not quite sure I follow, but okay. Ouch. Don't 
dominate mind. That was a pain. I know what that is. Ugly enough. And uh, had the uh, the pleasure of dealing with it myself. But at this point, we say I don't care and we keep going. Knock them both over. And knock that one over. Good. Good. Now, poison should do the trick here. Even though the loaves are going to take a bit of a pounding. I regret saying that, now that I've said it out loud. Encourage. Okay, fair enough. Metal mend mends the metal of everyone around. Cast Death Wish on Fane. Isn't that a good thing? Yeah, character receives bonus damage based on missing vitality. That's actually a very good thing. Um... Um, I'm confused, but fine. Teleportation on Losa. Missed with the staff, I'm afraid. Okay, um, okay. See, the beautiful thing about this spell is... I don't have to teleport allies, I teleport you as well. Um, which would be kind of funny, all things considered. Lois is nearly dead. No, she's not. No, she's not nearly dead. Okay. And now I become completely invisible to the human eye. Okay. Whack it over the head. Oh, what? You can't whack it over the head again. Okay, cast haste on yourself. You're gonna be moving quite a bit in the future. Fane, you're gonna heal Loser if you can. Yeah. Boom. And then you're gonna hit her. Very, very hard. Lovely. She should be dead next turn. If she is poisoned. Which she is not. But she is burning. Yes. Yes, she is burning. Okay, lovely. Now what are you doing? Ignition. Okay. He's getting bonus damage from this, so... He's still helping him. That's okay. Eh. All things considered, that's alright. Lovely. Lovely. Um. But basically, now what? <laughs> Still have Death Wish? Yeah, Fane still has Death Wish. Okay. And you don't have Battering Ram yet. You don't have Blinding Radiance yet. But you do have Haste, so you can go up there and whack that bloody corpse over over the head once or twice. Okay, they're pecking away our health a little by little, but that's that's sort of been the theme around here, I suppose. You're gonna have to move. You're gonna have to move because you're gonna do fossil strike in the middle of both of them. Because that's absolutely glorious, as we can all see. 
And encourage, I don't think it's gonna work for Losus. Actually, he's encouraged already, but it doesn't matter. You're gonna encourage yourself. <laughs> Give yourself a pep talk, yeah? Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Supernova? Yeah, I think so. Sure, Supernova. We don't get to use it very often. Wham. And then... This thing. Yoink. And, uh... I recommend leaving the giant pit of fire. Which was created by you, but still, I recommend leaving it. You managed to miss both times, that's... Okay, she has, she has tons of health. Just keep spitting on her. Again, I regret saying that, to be honest with you, but okay. Uh, you might want to stop spitting on fame, though, that's... It's not a part of the deal. Oh, sod. Okay, um... Tell you what. Move two all the way up there. Heal a little bit as well from the thing, that's, that's always handy. And then backstab the dung beetle, and I know it's not a dung beetle, but hey. Do adrenaline to stab it again. And stay there. Yeah, that's it, spit on me. Totally, spit on me, I love it. A couple of moments ago, I was worried about the things I'm saying. Now I've just embraced it. At this point, it, it can only get worse. Before it can get any better. Attack of opportunity, that's just not entirely what I... Well, you can do a petrifying thing, sure. Take off the armor, at least. Fane! Fane, 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 Fane. Um, light on fire. Is it dead yet? I don't think so. Are the ones over here dead yet? I don't think so. So that one's pretty dead. That one's relatively dead. Let's start taking out the, uh... Well, no. Who, who goes next? It does. Alright, lovely. There you go. Which one goes next? That one. One, two, three. Don't move while I'm throwing daggers at you. Very, very rude. I actually can't hit it from here. I actually cannot hit it from here. But I can walk you up there. I'll have you hit it next time. Chances are it's not going to go for Fane. Like I said, chances are it's not going to go for Fane. Um. <laughs> oh, Lord in heaven. Alright. Okay, I'm thinking this is enough to hit both of them. It would appear so, yes. Okay, run over to the poor bastard and cast Restoration on him. Or whatever, restore him there, I suppose. Okay. Lovely. So, everyone! This guy's journal. Uh, yada yada yada, I've arrived at the cavern, not sighted a single rose, yet one sniff of the air assures me that they are close, I must delve deeper. Great idea, nothing went wrong with that idea whatsoever. Everything is fine. Okay. 
But you know what? I think for a moment there, we, we really could have had something, you know? And you had to go and try and murder me. I mean, that's mostly how my relationships end, but uh, really, like, come on. Ooh, beware the blood red rose's thorn, eh? Okay. Infect requires necromancer too. I believe you know this. No? You? Yes, you do. Okay. Learn the skill then. I didn't mean for you to take the ring. I meant for you to identify the ring, but whatever, you might end up taking it. Identify. Yep, you're definitely going to end up taking it. Okay. Uh, what about this armor? It requires strength 11, unknown dagger. See, she had a dagger for me. A yeah, decent one as well. Dual wielding, lifesteal, yeah. Very decent. Uh, so I'm going to replace it with the dwarven dagger, yes. Because dwarven daggers are not particularly all that great. No offense to all dwarven party members in the, well, party. Uh, she's talking about the purging one. She has a purging one of her own. I mean, come on. Need to be. I mean, you were going to kill me. That's fine. But now you're lying to me. Terrible. Okay, add that to wares as well. Ooh, that looks good on you. Ooh, that looks good. We've created some sort of dwarven centurion. Take the ring as well, because it adds a bunch of magic armor. Nothing else. Right, that is actually awesome. Um, about the wands, though. There's a fire wand. 8 to 9, 10 to 12. 8 to 9. It's literally the same as the Purging Wand, which makes a lot of sense considering it is the Purging Wand, it's just one that belonged to Radica. But this one's more unique, so I guess we're going to use that one. And I'll take the Water one, believe it or not, because it's actually pretty damn good. It's just water. And it sort of goes against everything that we've been building so far, but, you know, we'll see, Maybe maybe we'll use it at some point in the future. Okay. Good. Crafting Bible. Awesome. More recipes. What back arrow? Let's add that to where's. I'll pick that up. Here's a good question. Do I know how to craft... Period. No, do I know how to craft... Um... This is not the crafting menu. Neither is this. There we go. Weapon, potion, grenade, armor, object? Grimoire? Yes, grimoire. Searing Dagger Scroll, Teleportation Scroll, Fortify Scroll, Rain Scroll, Resurrection Scroll. Right, Resurrection Scroll. We need Sheet of Paper, Water Essence, Life Essence. Got it. Be on the lookout for paper, because uh, we have all the other rarer ingredients. Yeah, I, I know. Trust me, I know just how stupid that sounds, but... Two adventurers, well, what did I say two adventurers? Four adventurers, why did I say two? I, no, no. Four adventurers running around the world looking for paper. The absolute idiocy of it all. 
Oh, we should, uh, we should heal up, though. There you go, lovely. No, don't stand over there, you're just gonna get yourself hurt by the exploding poison. Why is the poison exploding? I don't know. It is, don't ask silly questions. Right, now how the hell do I get through this? Here's a question. Can you do something about it? I can't disarm it. Okay, can you fossil strike the trap? I didn't do anything. Can you hit it with this? Oh, we've blinded the trap. Lovely. Yeah, that, that, that'll work. Okay, go through it now. Wasn't great. Wasn't great, but we, we managed. Some of us are burning. Fair enough. Some of us are burning, but, you know, there's water outside. You'll be fine. Right, let's go talk to the, uh, to the dragon. Who am I? Who do I need to heal? Well, both of you. Alright. Keep up, children. We're gonna go and talk to the dragon. The, the things we say. I mean, we should have, we should pay someone to walk behind us, a fair bit behind us, and just record everything we say. You see a glimmer of hope flicker across Slane's eyes as he notices your approach. It's quickly doused with a practice scowl of the oft disappointed. Have you... have you brought it? Or am I to remain a slave? Don't say you change your mind, you want to keep Radica's purging wand. Why would I want to keep her purging wand? It's literally just a purging wand. And I have one of those. Slane rears back in eagerness, grasping the purging wand with razor-sharp claws. Before your eyes, the source from within the wand surges into his draconic form, filling him with a light so bright that you must shield your eyes from the glare. All right. The blazing brightness dies down. Squinting, you now see no dragon before you, but the figure of a handsome lizard. A handsome lizard with the same eyes as Slane. A purple handsome wizard. His eyes still blaze, a piercing silver. A triumphant smile dominates his face as he bows extravagantly before you. How old are you? Slay. At your service. Is he a lizard or a dragon? He's both. Your eyes aren't really... Don't like really. me have such eyes. With them, I see spirits. Not a blessing on this haunted island. You are lucky not to see the desperation that lies before you. Hmm. It's quite the curse, honestly, isn't it? Okay. We're happy to aid him. No one should remain falsely imprisoned. Meh. Face a great peril in helping him before Pop Drama. Yes. He smirks. I offer my aid to those deserving. You have more than proven yourself as such. But I am no errand boy, and I do not come when called. So when do you arrive? I should have left you locked up in there, but... I can't fight you now, so I'm just gonna smile and say, okay. You are truly at a loss, when you have no choice but to back down or perish. You will find safety in my shadow. This right. I promise. Right. What do you plan to do now? This is an island of many mysteries, of many horrors. I'll learn what I can. 
Perhaps there is some possible reprieve for the souls who suffer here. Right. Slain smiles at you and turns to leave. He takes no more than a few steps before he shimmers out of lizard form, blurring in midair back into a majestic dragon that soars away. I mean, I like the naming sort of uh, thing you have here with, with all of this. But how do I not take the destroyer? It's useless, but how do I not take it? I mean, look at it. Oh, it's taking every bit of willpower I have not to take the destroyer. The hacker's alright. Trussock is fine. Smart Leggings is fine. Sure, I'll take the, uh, the armor. Oh god, I've just realized something. So far, I've been using bear skin armor. And so has Fane. Oh god. Oh, what's wrong with that? Well, we talked to the little bear cob wearing his mum. Oh god, no. Oh, that is so terrible. That is all sorts of wrong. Oh, Jesus. How did I not notice that before? Ah. Uh.